I have used Team Group T4 Delta DDR5 so many times at this point, but not only their DDR5 memory, also their DDR4 memory. Every single time that I've used this, I have not had a single issue going into the BIOS and getting an XMP profile for either the DDR5 or the DDR4. DDR4 is much more stable. I don't think I've ever had an issue using an XMP profile with DDR4. However, with DDR5, I have experienced that problem many, many, many times. And yes, I understand that for the most part, that really comes down to the motherboard. But when you're, when you're getting a computer and you're building a computer and you're upgrading components inside of a computer, what you need to understand is that all of the components are working together. So when you get a good motherboard and you get good RAM, they're working together. But not only that, your CPU is also working together with the motherboard and the RAM. And then not only that, then you're, you, you get where I'm going. Like you can't just like, and this is why it, it's, it's so hard for me to review one thing without doing a full computer build and explaining why I got specific parts. And that's because they're always working together. And it's very hard for me to literally just do what I'm doing right now and go over a set of DDR5 or DDR4 because the only way for me to cover DDR5 and DDR4 is if I cover the CPU, the motherboard, the graphics card, the NVMe, the power supply that I got, you know what I mean? It's, and then not only that, it's like, then I have to explain a, about the CPU and why that works with the memory. So either way, recommend the memory. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe, to the channel leave a comment like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff